everyone. It is Jazz here. I feel like I haven't posted in a really long time and there's a reason for that. So I thought today would be a good time to do a double video moment. So the first thing that I want to do is do a little life update on what's going on with life. And then also I thought I would bring back a segment that I used to do a couple of years ago, two or three years ago, which was called Short Thoughts on Current Reads. So basically in that segment, I would just talk about everything that I'm currently reading and what I think of the books right at the point where I am. Let's just start with the life update. So I have been just so, so busy guys. And thus because of that, I'm uh, having a really hard time balancing all of the things going on. So thus videos might be a little sporadic for the next few weeks as I'm trying to figure out everything going on. And I really do apologize for that. I hope you guys will stick with me as I figure stuff out. But the main big thing that I decided to do was I decided to enroll in college and I'm studying to get a bachelor's of science in early childhood education. If you're wondering what I'm studying. So the reason I decided to enroll in college was because I felt very stagnant with my life. And even though I was doing all the things that I was doing, I felt like I wasn't learning anything new. I thought it would be so good to like train for something new that or a, an additional thing that kind of already goes with the current career that I have because I do teach dance and musical theater and I often teach that early childhood age right now so that degree would work quite well with what I'm already doing but also then I would have training to do other opportunities for teaching in the educational field. I'm one of those people that's doing college in their 30s. I just turned 34 and the reason for that is because I have a neurological disorder called dyspraxia and I have ADD and it's taken a really long time for me to kind of get comfortable with learning the ins and outs of both of those disabilities and figuring out what works for me and coping skills for that and so school has always been a little bit of a challenge just because of those elements and I decided though because I've now learned the ins and outs a little bit more of what's going on with my brain that I'm just going to go to the correspondent school that I went to for high school. So I went to uh, a branch of the high school branch of Ashworth University for my high school education because I went to correspondent school. And so that's I'm doing the same thing. I'm just doing their college university training from there. So I really like their setup. It really works for anybody like me that has learning disabilities because they give you one course at a time and that really works for my brain. First, because I'm a very compartmentalized kind of person, <laughs> but also because it does limit some of my anxiety because I don't have a whole bunch of assignments at the same time or a whole bunch of quizzes to study for at the same time. I just have one at a time. So wish me luck on my educational endeavors. Now, in addition to my current already existing job, my mom and I have a singing, well, we also play a bunch of instruments duo. And we haven't done a lot with it. We've been working towards really developing our sound and all that stuff. And we have finally reached a point where we know what our sound is and all those things. And so we have started recording some material. Mom and I decided to start with a few cover songs to record just to kind of find the ins and outs of distributing our own music because we are an independent duo. We wanted to kind of get the feel for what that was like and obviously just have some material to put out that, you know, we could make videos for and also put on our website and all those things. So we have to set up the website and the YouTube channel and all that stuff as well. So it's a lot of just additional work. Obviously when you're recording, it's a whole day experience for multiple days. Yeah, but it's super, super exciting. Our YouTube channel is not complete 
yet, but probably in some future video when we finally have like a video up there, I will link you guys to that eventually. <laughs> and I hope you guys understand if videos, like if I miss a week or something, it's usually because something happened with school or with work or with recording. So, <laughs> woo, it's crazy, but it's like all good stuff. Am I right? Now, as for reading, I have developed a little bit of a case of slow readers syndrome, as I like to call it. It's not the same as a reading slump because I do still want to read, but I am reading extremely so slowly for two reasons. Obviously, started school, I read quite a bit for school. My brain is just like, I'm all read out by the time I get to the fiction and I just want to watch episodes of the 1960s soap Dark Shadows for a second. And then the other reason for for my slow reader syndrome is that often I will lay down with my book and then kind of read two paragraphs and fall asleep. So <laughs> that's what happens. As for my current reads, let me tell you my short thoughts on them. So I'm currently working my way through the Shakespeare play that I chose to read this year. I try to read one Shakespeare play each year and this year I chose Twelfth Night. So I actually found this Twelfth Night in the editions that I really like to read Shakespeare in, which are the Clips Complete editions. They don't have every Shakespeare play in these, but this is one of the few that they do have. And I like it because they have like a little summary of what the act or the scene is about. They have the scene. They, of course, have these... Um, little sidebars with the unfamiliar words and phrases. And then at the end of the scene, they always have a little uh, commentary section on it. And I like reading the commentary in case I miss something in the scene. So far, it is not going to be my new favorite Shakespeare play. It's an okay one to read. I mean, all Shakespearean plays are, of course, better performed. And Perhaps this one would be better performed, but I think even performed, this wouldn't be my favorite play. I think part of that is because so far a lot of the comedy has relied on basically things that are references to things that you would have had to like live in the time period when this was written to really get the comedy to come across. And then also this whole play is totally constructive of subplots. There doesn't seem to be like a stronger through line of all the plots yet that ties it together. So that makes some of the sections just kind of move rather slowly. We're about two thirds of the way through it. Maybe something really amazing will happen and I will enjoy it a little bit more. But right now it's just an okay Shakespeare play moment. The second book I'm reading is The Turn of the Screw by Henry James. And I am both reading this along in ebook as I listen to the audiobook, which is read by Emma Thompson. And I have to say, it being read by Emma Thompson is saving this book for me. I low key hate the writing style. It is exactly the writing style that is my least favorite of all time, which is very wordy and very, very long sentences. And I feel like particularly in this book, it does distract from what the author is trying to execute, which really, really gets on my nerves. And I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Jess, you're really busy. You don't have to read this book. You could just DNF this book. You don't have to finish this book. But the thing is, is that I only have an hour and a half left in the audiobook, which basically means I've completed about 50% of this book and it's short and I do want to know where it's going. I am vaguely interested in what's going on with the plot even though there are a lot of other issues which I'll probably talk about in the actual review for this book. But yeah, I'm not enjoying it but I am going to finish it because there's not that much of the book left and then I can say it that I read it. I, it's for some reason one of those books where I just want to read it to say that I read it. The last book that I'm reading is a reread of The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. As some of you know, I didn't originally read the last four chapters of the final book, The Return of the King. I spoiled myself on the ending 
because it's a little bit different than the film version. And so, and I just wasn't emotionally ready for what was going to happen. And then also, I think I just at that time had a little bit of like Lord of the Rings fatigue. Uh, and so my brain just couldn't like compute the last four chapters. So I'm determined to actually like officially complete the entirety of Return of the King. But the other two books and most of Return of the King would be rereads. I have to say Fellowship of the Ring when I read that the first time was my favorite of the three books and I'm still gonna say that. Now I'm only 30 pages or 36 pages into this because this is the one that I usually read when I get a chance to take a nap and so I lay down, I read two paragraphs and then I usually fall asleep but it's not because I'm not enjoying the book because I am enjoying the book immensely and all that stuff but y'all your girl gets sleepy sometimes it's super super good and there's a lot of stuff from the book that i know is in there that i know that i've forgotten how it really works out honestly there was a point when i originally read this where i thought the writing was super dry but now i've read le Mort to author in all its 800 pages of middle english and nothing is dry again after that you know what i mean i think i'm going to enjoy this quite a bit more because i don't think i'm gonna think the writing is dry at all actually i don't think it's dry at all in fellowship i think the dryness kind of started to happen around two towers so we'll see how two towers goes so i guess that's it for the video i feel like i just babbled for the longest time and you probably don't even care about you know any of this but if you did care and you enjoyed it drop me a comment below because I love to hear from you peeps and that is it for the day. I will see you all hopefully soon. I'm gonna try to get back on the roll. I think I may have figured out what days work for filming and whatnot and what days work for editing. So wish me luck with my rescheduling of everything and I will see you all soon my fabulous peeps. Thank you for watching. Bye!